NBC's Eamon Mohideen is live for us in Benghazi this morning. Eamon, so the investigation, I know all of your sources are indicating premeditation. The White House and the State Department and even the intelligence sources on our end here in Washington really pushing back hard saying they don't have evidence to back up the Libyan claims. What do you hear? Well, at this particular stage, it's very difficult to marry the two together, but what seems to possibly have happened is a hybrid of the two situations. As you mentioned, the Libyan officials here on the ground are saying categorically that this was a pre-planned attack, meaning that there were elements, foreign elements, that came in, exploited the security vacuum, began putting in motion a scenario where they wanted to attack either the U.S. consulate or other diplomatic facilities or perhaps even target Ambassador Stevens himself. When that was going to happen and under what circumstances remained largely mysterious for the officials here. Having said that, then, with the spontaneous outbreak of anger and protest that happened outside the U.S. consulate on Tuesday, September 11th, they may have felt that was the right time to strike. There was a sense of chaos. There was a great sense of uh, sympathy to these protesters. So the security at the compound may have been a little bit more lax. And so they decided to strike at that precise moment. But right now, what we're hearing, according to Libyan officials, is that this was something that was set in motion. People here on the ground wanted to exploit the security vacuum to carry out this attack. And that is certainly something that has angered many Libyans we've been speaking to in Benghazi and Tripoli. They say this is not something the Libyan people would have naturally wanted to do against a U.S. facility, yeah. against an ambassador that stood by them throughout the revolution. Chuck. All right. Eamon Moedin in Benghazi for us following the investigation. Eamon, thanks very much.